Um, this is not a technical talk. It's really just um, for everyone's benefit. Um, basically, what I like to say is that you know I'm not a career expert by any means, um, and uh, so I'm a security professional. And uh, you know this, what I like to do, they're basically because of this, uh, this a discussion group. So I'm not allowed to have a slide or any slides at all. So basically, it's just going to be, I, I basically categorized, um, had five different categories of how to develop or perspectives of developing a, a you know a um, a great information security career. And also, what I like to do when I give all my presentations is like I, I usually give like a disclaimer as well. So uh, number one, I'm going to say that uh, this presentation does not represent, uh, this only represents my own opinions and does not represent um, any of the opinions of the companies that I work for. And also, uh, this is not a, a one-size-fits-all um, solution. So again, you know, successful may mean different things to many different people. Um, before we start, how many people in the room are penetration testers? Have a raise of hands. All right, good. Any anyone else? Okay. Um, who is an IT professional? Um, raise of hands. Okay, good. Who's who's a security manager? Okay, good. Um, and also, uh, who who is a developer? Application developers? Any developers? Okay. And last, any students in the in in this room as well? Raise of hands. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're a student. Yeah, just raise your hand if you're a student. Yeah. So as you can see, you know, the, this uh, presentation, really, discussion group is really geared toward, um, you know, what what are some of the things that we, as IT professionals, as different people in in different industries, um, how do to become better security professionals? So before we start, I'm going to also um, talk about one uh, major thing that I, I like to put on, and the first topic is actually, I'm going to say become a leader. So I hope that comes out good without the board falling down. So there's many categories of becoming a leader. Um, you know, when we're, I think, as secure professionals, we do a really good job in, you know, pen testing and vulnerability research and, and doing different things. But, you know, I guess the other question I wanted to ask is, how many people in this room have, have kind of uh, made a security roadmap for yourself, show of hands, or kind of like a security goals. OK, great, great. How many of you are uh, kind of thinking of developing one? Um, OK, but uh, part of this uh, presentation uh, discussion is also to show you that um, you should have, um, you should create one if you haven't already done so. But uh, the first part I wanted to talk about is becoming a leader. Um, so some of the things is, you know, when you become a leader, you want to take ownerships of tasks um, which you excel at. Um, so, for example, um, what are some projects that you think in your in your current environments where you can, you know, some projects that can help you become a leader? Any, raise your hand and just uh, let me know your answers. What are any qualities? What are some, uh, you know, projects that can help you become a leader in your organizations? You don't have to say the vendor names. You can just say like, uh, you know, what are some things to make you become a better leader? Any anyone want to volunteer? Volunteer? Okay. So maybe, for example, maybe you want to, in any project, um, you want to think outside the box. Um, leaders can come in many varieties. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, someone that may think that they're successful. Um, so, for example, maybe uh, you want to take over a project that has to deal with encryption or something like that, right? Um, and uh, you do not. Um, at that time, or at the time that you take over this project, you are not specifically a subject matter expert or an expert. So you want to find, or you want to develop um, and do analysis on this encryption project. So um, th that may also, this um, encryption project may make you a leader in the future. Um, so again, you really want to take advantage of projects that, um, that you think can make you a better leader. Um, you also do not, you know, Anything that you think you can excel at. Um, also, there's always room for failure, but make sure that uh, you know in a production or in a, a real organization that um, you know you learn from your mistakes and also do not uh, fail from that. Um, so, just show of hands. Like, um, I know there's many qualities of being a leader, but um, you know, what are just quick quick examples? What are some examples of um, you know projects that you can take over um, that can make you a better leader? Any anyone want to volunteer? Any 
Anyone? Okay. Yeah, go go ahead. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Same things like that. Any you you you, you had a, your hand up as well? well I think it's just security training and security awareness again discuss the cost of the entire Right. And, you know, it's really anything that, uh, you know, may, you know, lead, leadership means many things for different people, but um, you can do anything that will make yourselves more marketable, um, you know, um, and also more confident as well. Um, so, for example, maybe uh, a leadership position might be like as, uh, in regards to the training aspects or awareness or taking over a project. Maybe you want to basically um, stand up in front of an audience and try to encourage people <laughs> to contribute. Uh, you know, probably one of the first things is, um, you know, as professionals, IT professionals, security professionals, we're always behind the desk, you know, doing something behind, uh, behind, you know, the desk, not talking to people. Maybe one thing you, you want to do is basically um, talk to people and be able to stand in front of the, um, different kinds of people and be able to reiterate or basically, um, you know, outline what your key points are. Uh, maybe that's a characteristic of uh, leadership. But again, leadership can be many different things for many different people. And again, it's um, like I mentioned before, it's, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. But you want to basically try to think outside the box. Um, anything that may, may make you more marketable um, for your manager, um, also for your organizations, and also you know, make yourself um, you know, more known. So for example, if I was a, you know, an, 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 a new engineer, security engineer or new IT professional, uh, maybe one of the things is some of the senior um, professionals may not give me some of the projects that I want to be able to do. Um, so um, it may be some ways to demonstrate my um, understanding and also my analysis is to kind of help with the project and kind of become like the SME, subject matter expert in it. So those are some uh, leadership qualities. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Uh, just to stir the pot discussion. Yeah, sure. Um, leadership is such an overused word, and as you point out, means a lot of things. Yes. Um, I tend to break it out and say there are leaders, sure. and those are the people who make a decision. Their usefulness is very short-lived. Right. Um, and make a decision, make the right decision, and move on. Experts, which are the most marketable kind of person, right. they know uh, everything there is to know about something, and they become the go-to person in the project. That I think that fits, in my opinion, some of the stuff you said. Sure. But experts are seldom leaders. Sure. That the decision to take something that you now need an expert in is made by a leader or a manager. It's the third class I put things in, which is you can be very successful as a manager where you're neither a leader or an expert, but you're good at bureaucracy and budgets and people management and three different skills all get you very successful careers, right. but don't pick the wrong one for yourself. That's right. That's right. Um, you know, good, good points. Um, again, when I said leadership, I didn't want to mention, I didn't have a PowerPoint, but leadership is, is just one, um, you know, category. Um, and again, you know, leadership mean, means many different things. Um, so you want to become, you know, leadership, but maybe it all really depends what you want to do. Um, so in, in, in security, there's so many different, uh, you know, I like to use the levels or layers of um, you know different domains of security, but maybe you want to kind of uh, you know if you're a new new person um, being in, in security, maybe you want to be able to uh, you kind of um, become an expert in something, and then maybe specialize. And of course, um, after learning the ins and outs, um, after that, maybe you want to also be able to take some business courses, take some um, other leadership courses as well to be able to uh, make um, different decisions. So it really it all depends you know, what, what you want to do. So that's the first um, category. Any, any other questions or comments about that, about uh, becoming a leader or becoming an expert or a subject matter expert? OK, great. So the next, the, the next one I wanted to talk about was learn security skills that accelerate your career. So here I'm going to just do, as long as this board does not fall over, Security skills, okay. So that's number two. Um, 
the reason I put that is that, you know, again, you want to, just as I mentioned before, you want to basically, um, you know, as we're doing different tests, maybe we're doing, as security professionals, as IT professionals, we're doing uh, reconnaissance on other organizations, legally, <laughs> not illegally. Um, and, uh, you know, so again, this is uh, getting management buy and everything like that, but um, has anyone ever done uh, reconnaissance on your own, um, on your own career? Um, like when I mentioned before, who has, um, you know, who has a, um, you know, a security roadmap or a career plan? Um, maybe you want to do, in addition to all the different um, reconnaissance, um, try and define as much information about other things, your organizations. Um, maybe you also want to do reconnaissance on your own self as well. Um, so, for example, um, you know, find out what are your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and then future plans as well. So that, that's one of the reasons what, that I mentioned, number two. Go ahead. That's a great point, you know, even with trusted and non-trusted, like um, acquaintances, that would be a good um, good point as well. Because when you have trusted um, friends or people, they know you, they're going to not likely, this is like more assumption, they know you, maybe they know you very well. And when you say trusted, right? Um, but there's many levels of trust as well, but we won't get into that. But uh, basically, maybe when they know you really well, they're going to not um, tell you everything sometimes truthfully, it depends too. So sometimes it's good to also get um, outside, unbiased um, feedback from others as well. So, um, you know, just that's a very good point. So um, excellent point there. Um, any other takes on basically, uh, you know, getting the security skills to accelerate your career, um, to, to become a better security professional? Again, you know, this can be technical, this can be business. Um, you know, one thing I like to also point out is, you know, being able to you know, effectively communicate all the different points, you know, um, being able to um, write as well as speak, as well as, you know, read and different things like that. So that, that's number two. I wanted to mention that. And yeah, sure. Go ahead. What skills would you say are most prevalent in the field? Sure. Um, that's a very open-ended question. <laughs> the reason I say that is because uh, it really depends on yourself. It really depends what you are, your interests lie in. Um, just like we are a lot of times, you know, trying to look at the threat landscape. Um, threat landscapes of, let's say, mobile devices, or the threat landscapes of different um, breaches and compromised um, servers or workstations. Maybe you want to do a threat landscape of the, the different security skills um, that are, on, you know, are, are basically um, um, on, on the internet and things like that. So for example, I know there are a lot of um, surveys that are, are done. Uh, one of them that I, I like to mention is the infosecleaders.com. They do a really good job. Um, but basically, uh, it's gonna be in my resources at the end. But um, they, they give out like a lot of um, you know, surveys. And basically on that, they kind of show you like what are the, you know, the hot skills to know? What are the things that everyone knows and, you know, um, not really too good now. So it really depends. So um, to answer your question, it really lies into what you want to do. Um, I think that hybrid is the best, meaning that, you know, now I th um, if you ever take a look at information security professionals, the good ones are the ones that aren't only computer science degrees or ones that, you know, just learn, you know, from, um, you know, from, from uh, just learn from learning without any degrees. But if you take a look, a lot of the security professionals who are doing really well have other degrees as well, not only in computer science, psychology, um, and, and different other hybrid industries. And because they are able to kind of comp contemplate um, their different skills and then kind of work toward like the information security, um, you know, th those are ones that uh, that have a lot of um, you know um, a lot of strengths to it. So. Hope that answers your question. You had a, you had a question. Just to make a comment, sure. one of the more valuable things for you for continuing education kind of a way is actually doing communication. 
Yeah, it sounds kind of silly, but my level, but if you ever watch yourself give a presentation, it's like an eye opening experience. Sure. And you know, most colleges offer that a lot of professional stuff. So yeah. If you ever want to go present to management or, I don't know, present to customers or any of those things, it's like the critical. It's going to dumb it seems like silly, but it can really mm -hmm. actually change the job. Right. I think, you know, as, as great points, um, as professionals, ID professionals, we do not. Um, get up and speak enough. You know, there's always the leaders <laughs> that, that speak for us, you know, people that we report to. And I think that it, it will be great to be able to take, you know, not only communication courses, but negotiation. Um, you know, get what, try to basically um, get your point across and, and different things besides that as well. There was a comment there? Yep. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. go ahead, yeah. Tom. Um, Before you were able to speak, you have to do your research. People are going to ask hard questions. <laughs> you should be able to answer it. Um, so definitely, uh, well points, well well pointed out, uh, Tom. You have a question there. Just, yeah, just to follow up to, to, to Andy's point. Um, my understanding is postmasters is the way to do better. Well, I, mean, I haven't actually done it, right? right. I have the uh, Oh yeah, sure, sure. Um, You know, application security, huge, huge it took thing. Away vulnerabilities. I know. If we, we left just the people problem. Right. If we actually uh, solve one vulnerability of the OWASP top 10, it'd be a much better, uh, <laughs> better environment, safer environment. But anyway, um, any. Find new topics on SQL injection. That's right. That's right. Any other questions, comments about that? Okay. I'm going to go uh, quickly into three certifications. Who here has uh, some kind of certification? ID certification, show of hands. Okay, cool. You think it's good? You think it's bad? You think it goes through HR? Doesn't mean anything? It's a, a money hogger? <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I think, you know, certifications, um, when, I, when I put certifications, I also put, um, I also like to put slash uh, degrees and also whatever other additional um, classes. Well, oh, go ahead, sir. About the certifications, I think it's, uh in some cases, you just you need them to go through uh, through HR, yeah. uh, but some of them over time you lose you lose a lot of value. So you need if if you want to keep some certifications, you you got to look at the, what's next. Um, but in the end, after you have uh, a lot of experience uh, to show, uh, they become less useful. So I guess the younger you are in in this field, the better they are. Sure. Over time, they lose value. Yeah, and I like to add that you know I think certifications are good. I mean, but uh, they go through HR, and that's about it. <laughs> Who has uh, like a, you know offensive security OSCE or something like that? Um, that's the problem. HR that has no idea what it is 
OSCP, whatever. They only know CEH, but all the test is basically what tool to use. So again, um, you know, I think that certifications come in to some point to get past HR. Um, but you know, I've seen candidates that have all certifications, and you know, when they go through the interview, um, they 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 look really good, right? But when they have to do something, it's um, you know, it's very tough. You know, so um, it's it's good to have certifications, but you know, um, you know, um, but know what you want to um, kind of try to achieve and things like that. So um, you know, so probably right now as um, as a security professional, CISSP is good, Certified Information Security Systems Professional, um, because everyone now has it. Before it was, you know, well, more and more people are having it, right? It covers the ten domains, but it doesn't cover everything else. So it's very it's a very high level gen general test. So. Any, any comments about that, certifications? And the other one thing I wanted to mention was um, also, um, in addition to certifications, you can also um, you know, maybe, maybe uh, pursue graduate um, you know, degrees or, or bachelor's degree in, in information assurance or something like that in computer security. Um, there's also more schools now that offer uh, doctorate level um, classes in information assurance as well, um, where you basically have your um, thesis or your postdoctoral work doing in some kind of uh, projects or things like that. So, so that's what I wanted to mention about that. Uh, number four is network. Um, I didn't write network three times because I didn't want the board to fall. But I'm going to put network, network, and network. What I mean about that is that you know, Boston, even though you know, Boston is a very nice city, and um, regarding the secure, security professionals, there's a lot of us. But we're also a very close-knit group. What I mean by that is that, you know, I think the security professionals here, um, very nice, very open. If you're interested in doing something, you know, just go, go over and, and talk to them. And they basically, as long as you are willing to have a beer <laughs> or soda, um, I think that you're, you, you will be able to kind of, um, you know, see what, what, what their interests lie in. Maybe you're new to information security. Maybe you want to learn something more in information security. You can kind of maybe uh, contribute to a project. Um, so some, some ways to additionally network is not only to introduce yourself, um, you want to make friends. You want to write, maybe you want to write about something, right? Um, if you're new, maybe you want to write a blog. Um, people are saying now that as every security professional now has like a blog. So talk about something, you know, whether it's good or bad. Um, it basically contributes debates, questions, comments, and things like that. Um, maybe you want to also develop some websites or some special games for the security um, community. Um, you also want to, in addition to what I mentioned, you, you want to go up and speak, be able but do your research before you speak, but you also want to be able to speak to the community. I, I um, um, you know, my first time speaking was many years ago, but enjoy it. You know, you get to meet different people, you get to talk to different varieties of people as well. And, and um, I think the one ma major thing is you want to think outside the box. And if there's one way of doing something, um, develop new ways of doing something. Um, security community, we need more and more people. Um, the, the black hats, they communicate so well. Effectively, we need to be able to communicate as, as a white hat and a gray hat. Um, you, we want to be able to um, communicate, um, you know, whether bad incident, good incident, um, you want to be able to communicate, communicate effectively. Um, and also, maybe you want to contribute to the security community by um, releasing some kind of open source tool. There's so many different, um, like you mentioned, Toastmasters. There's also so many different um, IT security um, groups available, whether it be OWASP, whether it be you know, ISSA, um, ISACA, all the different things. You know? so, so definitely, you can contribute and, and meet, different, meet, meet uh, different kinds of people there as well. And um, maybe you want to also volunteer as well. And um, one thing I also wanted to mention is um, uh, one thing that, that really helped me was um, having some kind of a mentor. Um, he or she can kind of give you kind of guidance, maybe when you're new. Also, when you are more um, you know, senior level, they can, also, um, they can also give you a lot of guidance because they've been there. You know, they, um, they've been there. They know exactly what to do. Even though times have changed, even though the landscape has changed, um, you want to have like a mentor um, or mentors as well. Sure, go ahead. Yep. I'm glad you said that because tying into what you said before about showing interest in what other people are doing, going that links into having a mentor in the workplace. I think that's a way of um, building up your leadership role in that workplace without um, without necessarily um, offending or or coming off like you're trying to take some more senior job. Without, sure. Um, yeah. Without without. Uh, the, the people who 
you know, I, I think that um, you know, having a mentor, or actually when you have a lot of experience, being a mentoree as well, having people to, to um, well, having people that you can mentor as well goes a long way as well. Uh, go ahead. Lots of people have opportunity, even if they've only been in the company two years, yeah. to be a mentor, because they just, the company just hired somebody, be the guy who steps up and offers to take them around, show them around, show them how things are done, put in the little extra time, and, and sit with them as they do their job, and this suddenly begins to build your reputation as the go-to guy. Right. Right. Anything that builds a rep is the go-to person. That's right. You want to be the go-to guy or go-to girl. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, um, any other comments about that before I go to the last one? Great, great, great comments. Um, so the next one I wanted to mention is, you know, keep learning. I think we all know that as IT professionals, as security professionals, it's a very competitive, yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's a very competitive environment. And um, you learn SQL injection? Yeah, it's always the same, right? Right. <laughs> that goes for SQL injection. <laughs> but, but um, you know, maybe now we have to learn the OWASP top 10 for mobile devices or something like that. But anyway, um, yeah, so keep learning, you know, having fun. Um, it's okay to fail, but, uh, you know, in, um, do, do what you lo love legally. Um, legally, make sure you get it from, from management. Um, don't do it on your production environment without getting management support. Um, but, uh, you know, keep, keep learning, keep networking. All of these are really pretty much, you know, basics of, of, of developing a, a winning, um, you know, information security uh, career. And, and, you know, one, one of the things, um, the other things was that, uh, you know, there, when I was looking, when I was trying, trying to do research, there really isn't a framework, right? Um, we have frameworks for everything. We have frameworks for, you know, ISO, whatever, whatever kind of standard. But there's no framework for, you know, becoming a better information security or developing a winning information security um, career. Um, I would say that these five things are, are really the, the, um, the, the, the basis, basics of having one. Um, w one thing that I also wanted to mention is, um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention was, oh, yeah, um, Number three, which is a risk assessment. I'm going to put it here. Risk assessment. Just like we're doing risk assessments for different companies. I'm going to, um, there. Um, I was actually going to put this right here. But risk assessments. Um, again, just like we're doing risk, different risk assessments. I knew I forgot one thing. Um, just like as we're doing different uh, risk assessments for the company, for the organizations that we work for, we also want to do a risk assessment on our on ourselves as well. Find out what is what is our vulnerability. Find out what we can penetrate. Well, well find out what we can make better, <laughs> right? Find out what we can make better. Um, and also, again, when I mentioned the S SWOT analysis, uh, maybe you want to do a threat threat um, threat modeling on yourself as well to see what are your um, what are your strengths, weaknesses, um, and all these other things as well. So um, regarding number six, it's great to have uh, something, some kind of goal. Um, maybe um, someone wants to become the next uh, chief information security officer. Again, in order to do that, you have to have a very concrete way of, of um, incorporating your goals. Um, you want to have something that is in the present, something that is in, in the future as well, and something that you know, is strategic for yourself. I think as security professionals, IT professionals, um, we are always doing uh, different tests for our organizations, but when it comes down to you know, trying to find out what our goals are for ourselves, we may sometimes forget about it. So the reason for my uh, discussion today is don't forget about that. You know, keep, keep learning, keep having fun, keep networking, keep uh, you know, obtaining all the skills, certification is good, right? Um, networking, um, and also, uh, you know, keep, keep um, risk assess, keep assessing yourself of what is good, what is bad, and things like that. Any, any questions or comments? And the other, yeah, sure, go ahead. Just uh, as you said earlier, and what you said, having somebody who will slap you in the back of the head and say, what you said in that meeting was stupid, uh, well, don't go do that. You suck at that. And having someone who will honestly tell you that right. and not post it on their Facebook page um, right. is, like, critical. Or Twitter. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah wants to be a penetration test. Right. Penetration test. Yeah. Yeah, that's not <laughs> Yeah, and um, 
Yeah, great points. And uh, two other sites I wanted to mention. I already mentioned about uh, infosecleaders.com. Uh, Lee and Mike, they do a really good job on it. Um, if you ever, ever haven't been there, um, it's really a nice site. It has different blogs. Uh, there's a question like every week, every couple weeks. They do different surveys at all the major um, security conferences, and it, it gives you a really good um, uh, kind of look into what people, what kind of um, questions people are asking regarding their security career. Um, and the other other one was uh, infosecmentors.com. In infosecmentors.com is a very nice one as well to find to become a mentor or be, or be, to become a mentor or define a mentor as well. So, any other questions or comments or anything like that? Great. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. You mentioned networking. Do you have any uh, any suggestions for the networking groups or forums in the Boston area? Sure. Um, it, again, it depends what you're interested in, but um, I would say uh, uh, the Open Web Application Security Project is very good if you're in the application development. Um, ISSA, um, that's, that's pretty good too. There's also a couple of other ones, high tech, if you're into um, you know uh, forensic investigations. Uh, there's so many. There's a lot of um, meetup, meetup.com. Um, there's a lot of uh, you know security forensic groups in there as well. But the op opportunities are endless. And really, it's just you know maybe it's just you and your friend thinking of something outside the box and and then just trying to think of uh, creating a meetup or some kind of group to talk about something, right? There's also, for uh, information security officers, there's also different groups for them as well. They talk about more of like, uh, you know, high level details and things like that, so. Yep, yep, any other questions or comments? Great, thank you very much, thank you very much, thank you.